What is happening, fellow pioneers of human transportation? I'm Yogi Steve. You're watching ESA, the Electric Scooter Academy. I make videos about high-powered scooters. Thanks for joining me again. It's a beautiful day out here in LA. Early November, we're still getting summer weather. Full day off for me. I already trained a couple of my clients. I did my own workout, did a little bit of hike, did a little bit of yoga, a little bit of lifting weights, of course. And now I need to get food. So I thought I would turn the trip for food into a a high-speed range test on the eMove Roadrunner Pro. If you're looking at this eMove Roadrunner, don't forget to use my bonus code, Electric Scooter Academy, 50 bucks off for you. Really supports me as a content creator. Don't forget to join the Facebook group. You can learn more about the Roadrunner line, eMove Roadrunner, new users and mods. I'm thinking I'll take us five miles one direction, five miles back, and at the end of it, we'll find somewhere delicious to eat. I never drive the Roadrunner Pro at maximum speed. I usually keep it in third mode, which limits it to about 34 miles an hour, or pretty much exactly 34 miles an hour with the full battery. But I thought today I'd put us in fourth and fifth mode and see how, how many miles we get. I'm sure it's gonna be a small amount. I've estimated that at like full speed, it's really only a 12 to 15 mile scooter. I, you know, I get 20 mile shifts on it in mode three for work. So let's see what happens if we just kind of make a straight line here. And instead of uh, doing deliveries, this will be a little less, uh, probably get the max, we'll get the maximum range since we're not starting and stopping so much. I'm gonna take us basically five miles west down sunset and then turn us around. And then somewhere as we get back in the hill, I'll find somewhere, to, uh, somewhere as we get back into Hollywood, I'll figure out a place to sit down and eat. There's no doubt when I'm out here on this vehicle, it's like a small motorcycle. I mean, I'm just driving it fully in traffic. I'm actually in the left lane. Because we gotta make a left here down Fairfax. Actually, we're gonna make a sneaky little move here. Let's do this. Yeah, you know, for me, it's, whoa, I didn't even see that guy coming. Uh, you know, for me, it's like not a good electric scooter unless I can drive it comfortably in traffic. The Pro, I mean, this thing, it's pretty, pretty freaking awesome. It's one step short of like a Honda Grom, a full mini motorcycle for sure. This is where Sunset really turns into a serious street. I don't see too many scooters out here except for that old guy I saw out here recently in flip-flops on the high boy. That was freaking hysterical. But uh, all right, mode four. Probably we'll do low 40s. I mean, we can't go 50 miles an hour on Sunset. That is actually too fast. Already got somebody fucking pushing me here in the right lane. It's a two lane highway. If nobody's passing on my left shoulder, I assume I'm not holding up any traffic. Super comfortable with my new shocks, I'll tell you that. Feels great. Of course, my brakes are good since I work on them myself. If you need help with your brakes, don't forget to hit me up. I can bleed the brake line, change your pads, adjust your rotor, replace your rotor, anything with brakes. That's all I am offering myself now. That's all I'm offering now to the community because I feel pretty comfortable that I'm good at it. And at a minimum, I won't mess up your machine. And if I can't fix whatever your problem is, Ryan can do it. My mechanic in Inglewood, my mentor, my technician mentor. Now we're sort of in the uh, heart of Sunset, passing uh, like Tower Records. There's a whole bunch of like the whiskey is up here, right? Or did we pass the whiskey? I don't know you know how long it's been since I've gone to the whiskey. Well, here's the Supreme store. This might be like the original Supreme store. 64.3 volts. So we're only a couple of volts down. Uh, we've already gone 3.3 miles. I'm very cautious though, like I'm really gonna underestimate how far we can go. I don't wanna get fucking stuck out here, that's for sure. The speed limit on this road is 35, so it's not like we're gonna go 50, but we'll probably go 40 right here, probably.
All right, real quick, some real talk about a range test. Since I'm pushing the scooter in the high 30s, low 40s, I really think this scooter has 12 to 15 miles range on it. Now, it's deceiving because we started at 66 volts. We're down to 63.2. That seems like quite a bit, right? But as the battery gets lower, if you maintain speed, you deplete faster. So here we are, already gone five miles. I'm gonna turn us around back. We'll do the other five miles. If there's a decent amount of extra range in the tank, I will go a little further to kind of get closer to zero, and then we'll find somewhere to eat in Hollywood. But this is as close as it's gonna to get to a maximum range test on the eMove Roadrunner Pro. You know me, I don't really give a shit about speed. I'm just glad that it's a safe ride, knock on wood, and uh, the vehicle seems to be holding up really well. I guess we somehow got ourselves stuck here in like this terrible fucking traffic. Driving like an asshole. I was bike for a second, now I'm a motorcycle again. It's three o'clock in the afternoon. Everybody knows that traffic in LA starts early. I mean, look how it just easily gets backed up here because these fucking pedestrians are for whatever reason. Yeah, man, so much for the high speed run. Let's go, baby. It's really important to get to the front of the line when the traffic is like this, although I can see I'm just gonna be like racing to the next light where they're stuck. That was actually a pretty tough uh, high-speed braking situation. I believe I can smell some rubber. Probably my fucking pads. I'm sure the scooter is fine though, right? Everything looks good, tires look good, everything's fine, Yogi Steve, don't fucking panic. Other than the traffic, this is feeling like a real, a real pleasure ride. Let's see if we can uh, turn into a bicycle right here at this corner. I'm a bike, let me in the bike lane. Uh, yeah, we got it, we got it. Come on buddy, you going or not? Get out of the bike lane. Get out of the bike lane. There's really no bike lane here. <laughs> I should have just lane split this like a fuck the proper way, but it feels like we're okay. Unfortunately, I like really push the tolerances of these handlebars as far as like guessing the width. Because <laughs> oh, I really don't want to fucking nail somebody with the fucking handlebars. Oh my god, look at all this traffic. One thing that I really like about riding a sit-down scooter is how you can like one-hand it like this. And you can like hold on to the frame as the other handle kind of. It's, it's kind of like relaxing. God, we are stuck. We are stuck, kids. We're gonna get more range out of this than we thought because, uh, oh, that was close, I didn't see that guy coming. We're gonna get more range out of this than I thought because we're just going so slow over here. I, hopefully this shit will break up. I thought we had an opening there for a second. It felt like we were moving, but then we lost it and now it's too tight to go down a bike lane or to lane split. We're stuck in this super fucking shishi part of town. For a second there, I was about to say, I know this neighborhood, I knew there wouldn't be traffic, and we went like two feet at a high speed, and now we're back in traffic. Listening to Slipknot. Things could be worse, and we have a good meal in front of us, baby. Sometimes it's more dangerous in this slow traffic. A little bit of rage. You know what, I figured we would just pull over here and get Chipotle since I want to eat anyhow. And maybe we can, I mean, we can't really wait out the traffic, but 
Maybe we'll just get lucky with the traffic, but I like their carne asada. I had that here for the first time the other day. I want to get it again. I spent too much at Chipotle. I don't know why. I got a soda, I got chips, I got a bowl, 19 bucks. Nothing's cheap nowadays, right? Chipotle is one of these places where you almost always regret after eating it. I just, I just didn't need to get the chips and the soda. All right, let's drive another five miles. Yeah, I guess our high-speed range test uh, is getting screwed. <clears throat> Trying to make the best of it, I would like to bring the battery down to like 53, 54 volts and then see where we're at. We did a bunch of high-speed footage, right? I got some of it on the uh, GoPro Max, the 360. But we just haven't really been able to. I really wanted to go like fucking up and down sunset full speed. I brought us down to Fountain, <clears throat> but this obviously just made things worse. So... I think maybe we'll go back up to sunset now, maybe? I don't know. Let's run this fucking light. <laughs> it literally just ran two lights. All right, let's go back up to sunset. Maybe we can get some speed on there. It's funny how I spend like every day trying to minimize range. I'm out here trying to go as far as fast as I can, and I can't get some open road. All right, here's a little bit of open road for us. Come on, let's make this light. Fuck. It doesn't matter, there's another light right after it. I'm just trying to put a little more range on this bitch. There's no way I can do this range test with all this traffic. I guess I made a mistake. I mean, I just came out at the wrong time, I guess. But uh, I'm going to take us home and I'll wrap us up. I guess we'll just call this a fun or a failed range test. But it was fun. We got a chance to come out here and ride a little bit. How far did we actually go so far? 11.4 miles. I mean, that's nothing. We've done 20 mile delivery shifts on this for sure. Of course, we gotta go to Target. All right, you guys, see you next time. Thank you, thank you. Oh, this guy's gonna get it for me. Uh, thanks, guys, I appreciate it, family. Thank you, thank you. Fellow pioneers, we definitely tried to come out here and do a range test, but there's just no way I'm gonna drive a lot of miles in traffic for that. We really wanted to do a high-speed range test. I think we got about five to seven miles heading west before we had to cancel the mission. But regardless, thank you for hanging out with me. It was fun. Every mile I put on the eMove a Roadrunner Pro is good because it sort of helps vet the vehicle. I think my scooter is now above a thousand miles now. It's doing really good. Most guys, pretty much almost everybody is universally happy with their pros. Make sure you join my Facebook group. Learn all about that. eMove e -move Roadrunner new users and mods. I appreciate your support, guys. See you all next time. Let's go home and eat this delicious ice cream.